It seems there was quite the kerfuffle in there. Are you all right? Did you manage to find out who was threatening Mr. Harris? Is that right? So it's our intimidating friend, Mr. Katsura. And did you see the samurai with the demon's claw? <laughs> you almost sound like you're searching for a lost love, you know. Regardless, you proved every bit as reliable as I thought. Do come see me if you ever need my assistance. I dare say I shall have more favors to ask. In spite of Harris's close call, the Treaty of Amity and Commerce was concluded at last. In the end, the Imperial Court did not assent. We did all we could to explain, but our words fell on deaf ears. And now, there are those who would have our heads, who believe we have slighted the Imperial Court. There is no other way. Should the time come when we must atone for this deed, I alone shall pay the price. With this momentous agreement, Japan opened up to the world. Welcome back. Did you have a taxing day? I have been waiting for you. There is something I would like your help with. It has me so excited, I had to sneak out to find you. You see, I would like to start a cat concierge business. Don't misunderstand. You did such a good job finding them and lifting my spirits as well. But I have come to realize that, without me, my cats are all alone in this world. As such, they require some amount of socialization. Besides, I am sure that they are eager to repay you as well. After all, you went to such lengths to find them. Wonderful! Then, I shall entrust these lovelies to you.
running amok over there! My sons! Excuse me, but could I ask you to do something for me? Pray, will you listen to this poor beggar? I'm looking for my daughter and require your assistance. I used to run a prosperous shipping business out in Nagasaki. That is, until my ships were wrecked in the great earthquake and I lost my wife to disease. In order to make a fresh start here in Yokohama, I put my daughter in a geisha house, telling her I'd be back soon. The poor child believed me. Then when my health started to fail, I went looking for her. And now I hear her contract's been bought and she's gone away. Doubtless, it's too late for me to ask for forgiveness. But if I could have one last look, a photograph even, perhaps I could rest in peace. You're too kind. Now, my daughter's name is Risa. I would speak to the other geisha, but they refuse to see a beggar like myself.
to meddle in our business? Now you're going to pay! Aku Mashiro. Who the hell are you? Fred? You saved my life. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Lisa? Yes, I used to work with her. Not many girls with names like that. Wait, did something happen to her? <laughs> so, her deadbeat dad had a pang of conscience, did he? Probably couldn't even recognize her face. Want me to pose as her? Oh, so it wasn't a face-to-face -face meeting you were looking for then? In that case, make sure you capture my good side, okay? Took the photograph. Well, show it to me. Uh, this woman.
How are you faring? Oh, it looks like you've embraced the challenge. I look forward to seeing how you fare.
Thank you for coming. Oh. How goes the cat search? I hope they are all safe and well. Is there anything else? Farewell, noble warrior. Until we meet again. Please, this way. It's always a pleasure to see you. I'm sorry, but I really haven't heard much of anything. Out of interest, what precisely is your relationship? Well, if you say so. We know they were employed as a guard for Mr. Harris. If you wish to investigate, it might be wise to start there. Apparently, Mr. Harris has been in hiding since the incident. As to where he is, well... Why not try asking around at the Grand Villa? It's where Westerners mingle with the high and mighty. And then there's... Well, let's just say there might be another way. I have some contacts in the Shogunate. If you are interested in doing a favor for them, I could make the necessary arrangements. The Pleasure District is a crucible where the powerful mix and mingle. It is quite natural that I should know a good number of these men. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? Well, either way, I really do have something to ask you. Now I think about it, there was one more favor I wanted to ask. I would be delighted if you'd see fit to aid me in this matter. Whenever I get close to a certain row of abandoned houses, I feel like I'm being watched. When I turn around, no one's there. But I just know somebody's watching, from some dark and lonely corner. Would you be so kind as to investigate and find out who's watching me? Thank you. What a relief. But do be careful while you're out there.
Oh, God, you know how to do that. Oh, quickly, you've forgotten about the world. Yeah! 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 Dressed like a ninja, he appeared out of nowhere with a message. He said, We have Taka at Benten Shrine. If you want her back, the traitor must come alone. And I heard from some others in the Pleasure District that Taka had asked your guidance on a matter. Please, if you know anything about this, you must save Taka, please! to see your face, even if you do look rather wretched. <laughs> well, thank you for your honesty. As I suspected then, it was your former kin who kidnapped me. 
No need to apologize. But I appreciate you thinking about me. Don't tell me you thought I'd be cross. On the contrary, I'm rather glad you saved me. See? Do I look angry? Do you need a closer look? <laughs> I'm only teasing. I really am grateful, though. Seeing you show up to rescue me, I thought I was dreaming. But... Of course you'd come. How could you not? We both have certain people we could not ignore if we tried. Ah, forgive me. I seem to be rambling. Kichi must be worried. I should go see her at once. Say, it would take no time at all on that dashing steed of yours. Why don't I hop on behind you and hold you tight? Well, aren't you kind? Though you might have agreed to that a little too readily. <laughs> really, though, I'm truly grateful that you came to my rescue. about you, I feel obligated to share something of myself. Such a pleasant breeze. Being here with you, I somehow feel as if I can let my guard down. How sad we are nearly there. Dare hope I'm not alone in that feeling. If only we could just keep going, you and I, go somewhere far, far away, but alas. Oh, Taka, it's so good to see you safe. I'm perfectly fine, Kichi. I'm sorry to have worried you. And thank you. Thank you for saving Taka. I knew it. I knew I could count on you to help. Oh, I should mention, Taka, the guest you are expecting has arrived. Ah, I see. Very well. Thank you. Now, let me introduce you. Since you so boldly came to my rescue, I feel I should return the favor by revealing a secret of my own. Once the cat's out of the bag, there's no putting it back in, you know. I'll be waiting in my room. Be sure to come by later. who I am. Oh, so there's more to you than meets the eye. As sharp as ever, I see. The truth is, in order to assist Lord E in his affairs, I've been keeping an eye on the expulsionists who frequent the pleasure district. I wanted you to know and you must promise not to breathe a word of this to another soul. Lord E is a long-time acquaintance of mine. I wish to be of service to him in whatever small way I can. Hmm. Any complaints? And before you insinuate anything, Taka does this for me willingly.
Yes, this was entirely my choice. That's enough talk about me, I should think. It's not every day you get an audience with a chief minister. Isn't there something you'd like to ask him? Ah, yes. I've heard stories. Stories about them collaborating with the foreigners. I'll keep my ears open, but I am a busy man and can offer no promises. I think we're done here. Try not to get in our way. <laughs> <laughs>